What's going on guys? I hope everyone's having a great day. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time tuning in, please go down below, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you uh, you guys enjoy this video. But today I'm basically going to be explaining and showing you guys how I installed my 2016 uh, Super du Ford Super Duty front bumper on my 2006 F-250. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages and DMs on YouTube and Instagram about how I uh, I went about doing this. So this video is going to be for you guys and also anyone else uh, out there that's looking to probably do this to their truck. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to do it with uh, without any modification. Um, it bolts directly on uh, with four bolts, um, just like your factory uh, four bumper um, is bolted on the 2005 or 2007. F-250. This will also work for, um, I want to say, 99 um, and up F-250s. Uh, the frame is pretty much the same. So um, if you guys, anybody out there is interested in doing this, it'll work for you guys too. So I took it upon myself to go ahead and take the bumper off for you guys so I can show you guys from start to finish how to do it. Uh, but my method is doing it without any modification to your truck. Um, if you choose to modify it, you can close this gap um, by oblonging these uh, right here. If you oblong all four of your mountain holes, if you probably go up, I'll uh, probably say half an inch, you can, uh, once you mount the bumper, you'll be able to slide it up a little more, which will close this bumper gap, and you guys will see that at the end. I didn't do that uh, because I planned on doing a different... Uh, front end on this truck and I didn't want to uh, mess with those holes so but if you guys do want to modify it you can and that's how you do it you'll just probably half an inch to an inch um, above here so just keep that in mind but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it without modifying it all right guys so basically this is a 2016 basic Ford F-250 uh, front bumper uh, it's a little dirty, excuse that, but um, everything, how it came on this 2016 is still here. Uh, I did cut this bottom valence a little bit to give me a little clearance because it was a little long. Um, but that's all I did. I put a uh, curved light bar bracket and light bar on here. But you guys can come up with whatever you want. Alright, so for my 99 to 04 F250 or Super Duty guys out there. You guys, being that your truck has a shorter grill on it, you may have to uh, oblong these holes a little more due to the grill being so short. So that oblonging these holes will bring the, the bumper up a little more and also close this gap as well. So uh, it does look a lot better on the 99 to 04 trucks, but uh, my 05 to 07 guys could do it as well. So basically, all you wanna do is start by taking your old bumper off. Um, before you put the new one on, you will have to remove your tow hooks if you have them, if your truck came with them. Uh, because the holes on the openings on the new bumper aren't wide enough to slide over them. But, so for everybody out there putting it on by themselves, um, you're gonna wanna put one more tow hook back in. So that gives you something to rest the bumper on like that then you can go ahead and slide the second one in alright guys once you slide that second tow hook in and bolt it in your bumper really won't go anywhere um, it won't be able to slide past the uh, tow hook, so you basically don't really have to hold it anymore. But once you do that, you're gonna re reinstall your hardware just like it was on the factory bumper with your, uh, I don't know what you call it, two welded nuts on the back side and your bolts. All you wanna do is get them started. They're gonna go on the two outside holes of your frame or your truck. So. go behind and just get them started and then I go back with an impact after once all of them are in 
and tightening everything. And you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, guys, now that you have your bumper on, sitting there nice and pretty, um, we're gonna do the final adjustments and make sure it's level on both sides. And you're gonna try to get it as high up as you can and then tighten it up and uh, everything will stay just like that. Um, we don't have to run the um, factory bumper to frame uh, brackets that kind of go from this bracket here to the mounting holes right there. You don't have to run those. It's optional. You can if you want. Um, you don't really need them. I'm going to show you guys how sturdy this thing is once I put these four bolts in. Um, and it's not going to go anywhere. But uh, here we go. I'm going to show you how to uh, adjust it. And uh, that'll be it. All you're going to need is a 18mm uh, um, impact socket. If you're using an impact and uh, go ahead and put it on. And how I like to do it, I like to take my arm and pull it up as high as I can get it. Get one side started. Then pull up as high as you can on this side. Like I said, all you're gonna really need is those four bolts to hold this bumper on. As you can see, it's it's sturdy, it's not going anywhere. Um, it's on the truck. But now all I'm gonna do is go around, tighten up my tow hooks, put the rest of those bolts in, tighten up all my wires, get them out the way, clean it up a little bit, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me see. As you can see, the gap, bumper gap, it is noticeable, but you kind of get used to it. You can uh, either fill this in with like a, a rubber piece, like you see on a lot of the GM trucks. They have that rubber piece between it. Uh, but from a distance, you can't really tell. It doesn't. It's not. It doesn't stick out or stand out that much. Uh, but it is what it is. If that's what the look you're going for you'll grow to accept it and not even really notice it that much. But uh, I hope that helped you guys out, that uh, everyone had questions about it. Uh, let me know in the comments if it did, if you enjoyed it or whatnot. But uh, that's about it, guys. Um, this bumper was the beginning of a front-end conversion that I had planned on doing on the truck, but I probably will not be doing anymore as I have other plans for the truck now. But uh, I hope that video helped you guys out, the ones that out there had questions about it and about doing it and what it looks like. Um, There's really nothing to it, four bolts, and uh, that's it, really. Um, so I hope that helped, that helped you guys out out there um, and answered a lot of questions. But uh, if you guys don't mind, go down below, hit that like, comment, and subscribe button for me. Um, and also share, share my videos with your friends, family. And uh, I've seen the growth lately, and uh, it's awesome. And I really appreciate that, and we want to continue it. So, um, like I said, you guys don't want to miss what's going to be coming this year in 2020. We have a lot of plans going, coming for the truck and a few other builds and projects we have planned. So, you guys don't want to miss. So, uh, I suggest you go down, go down, subscribe, and uh, keep up with the channel. But uh, I appreciate everything you guys are doing, and uh, keep it up. Hope everyone has a great day. Peace. Gina.
Yeah, she's so spicy.